Hi there, my name is Moss and welcome back to my island Wild's End. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the haunted, enchanted forest part of my island. So it's going to be very overgrown and dense with trees and also incorporate a lot of um, mossy stone items, mush items, things like that. Um, so I really hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Since I totally flattened this area before I started building, which is normally what I like to do with my builds, I'm just building some cliffs back up in the back of this area so there's a background and the forest feels a little more enclosed. Uh, I am going to skip through some of the nitty gritty of this terraforming because I just find it a bit tedious. Terraforming like isn't really my forte. I'm definitely better at decorating and I don't enjoy terraforming quite as much. I know like lots of people are amazing at terraforming, but I feel like I just can't think and plan ahead enough to make really cool terraforming builds. I feel like my brain is just too smooth for that kind of spatial reasoning. I feel like I often kind of forget about water when I'm doing builds, like since I, I said landscaping isn't really my thing, I always have to remind myself to incorporate water features, so that's what I'm doing here, just putting in a few simple waterfalls and a mini pond and there's going to be an island in it, um, just like as a backdrop to make this forest area a little more dynamic.
So this is where I'm going to be building a secret apothecary, uh, which will just be like a little witchy area where, you know, like a cottage witch would be brewing potions and storing herbs and things like that. Um, so I've got these simple panels with a custom design of jars and bottles. Um, so that's going to be a key part of this area. And then I'm also going to be using um, a kettle bath as a cauldron. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about this area. I don't really have any specific ideas for the area on top of these cliffs, so I'm really just filling in this space with a lot of vegetation um, so it looks lush in the background. There's not really any particular theme to this area.
I've just been adding a ton of trees and plants and custom designs to these um, thicker parts of the forest. I'm trying to have the forest be very dense and lush with just these two grassy sort of trails going through it with um, the grass path and some of these uh, cobblestone type of paths.
Okay, so now it's time for me to show you how this area has turned out at this point. Again, um, I definitely went back and built a lot off camera. I'm sorry about that, but uh, this is a pretty big and complex area that I keep going back and forth on and going back and adding a lot of things. And this will probably not be the last video I make about this forest. So I'll go through and try and point out everything I've added to this build and how everything looks now with the saplings all grown. So I added a tall lantern here because I recently got the recipe for it and I think it's just so perfect for this area. I still need to work on this area where I put Stonehenge um, and that'll probably be its own video because I'm planning a rock garden there. Okay, so here's how the apothecary has turned out. Obviously, I added some stone walls and a stone arch here to give some structure and barriers to this area, but I think it turned out really nice. And finally, I moved a villager home over here as kind of a witchy cottage in the woods type of vibe. Uh, currently, this is Vesta's house here, but I'm not planning on keeping her on my island permanently. Uh, I th I'm thinking since this area is a bit macabre and has these gravestones and the whole witchy haunted theme, I would ideally like to have Lucky here if I ever do find him. Well, that's all for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got some ideas. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have a new video up soon. Bye-bye.